Hi everybody, welcome back to the Arms Boys channel. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to do a how-to on getting your youngster to his, his or her first wrestling tournament. Uh, we're going to go through everything from track how to get on the track wrestling, um, what they need, um, all, I mean, from the start of the tournament to the end of the tournament, we're going to try to go through everything. Uh, explain everything as good as we can. Um, but first, I'd like to just tell everybody, please go and subscribe. It's really easy. When you're on YouTube, just go to the top of the screen, click the subscribe button. Super easy to do. Um, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, so, like I said, first thing we're going to talk about is uh, how to get on the track wrestling. We're going to explain that. I'll have my wife get on the computer. We'll explain that a little bit. I'm going to show you now how to use track wrestling to register your wrestler for our tournament. You'll go to Google and you can simply type in track wrestling. It will take you to their website, which at first will look a little overwhelming, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You'll, the first thing you'll have to do is to create an account if you've never used it. I already have an account, so um, I'm going to be able to just log right in. When you register for an account, it just asks simple things like an email and asking for a username and password. Now I'm signed in, and I can see that because it no longer says my track, it has our name up there. Ours says Riker, just because he's the first wrestler. Um, that we've ever used this for, and I accidentally put his name. But really, it's for our whole family. Once you're on here, you'll click on Events. And here we'll show all the upcoming events. This isn't just for your state, but this is uh, all over the, um, the United States. A lot of the Wisconsin one, uh, one of the Wisconsin ones actually comes up first. Um, but as you can see here, there's also ones in Georgia and all over. So what you want to do to narrow down your search and, and find the event you're looking for is click Search Events. And here you can type in as much or as little information as you'd like to try to find the tournament you're looking for. So if I was going to sign up for our next one, which will be in Wapaka, after our new London one, I'm going to just start by typing in Wapaka and changing the state to Wisconsin. With this little bit of information, most likely it will pop right up. If not, I could put the dates if I know what date it's on or the exact name of it. So we'll just try it with Wapaka, Wisconsin. You can see here that the tournament I'm looking for, Wapaka Youth Tournament, pops right up. Double check it's the right year, so as you can see below it, they also have their last one, which is in 2020. So I'm going to click on the tournament and continue as a viewer. Once I'm in here, you can take a look at the event flyer, which is right here. Um, but since I already know this is the correct tournament, I'm going to go ahead and just get ready to register. I'm going to click on Registration. And once it's here, it might ask you to log in again. So I'm going to log myself in. And now we are getting ready to register. I again will double check it's the correct tournament. And I scroll down. And I have our um, three boys already on here with their track wrestling numbers. It's nothing pops up there for you. This is at the time where you can click add members. But since my boys are there already, I'm going to click them and register the selected. Up pops the first wrestler and Dexon's information is in there. I'm going to continue on. This is where I could pick his grade level. He is in 4K, so that's considered pre-K, but as you can see here, you can scroll down to find the adequate um, grade that you're looking for. So I'm going to click pre-K and click next. 
again we'll make sure that I'm wanting to register for this tournament and then I have to click the, select the division I want which this one has two options pre-k to kindergarten or there's a girls division we're going to do just the 4k kindergarten at this time the weight class is usually left NA you can see if I click on here there's no um, Nothing I can select that pops up later once the tournament um, begins. They place him into there, depending what weight I put him as. Then I can click for the uh, criteria, separation criteria. This is where you have to think about how your wrestler, um, how advanced they are. So Dexon, this is his first year. He's only been in two tournaments. Um, he's definitely a beginner wrestler. With Riker and Raiden, um, you know, they're a little bit more advanced and have had a few more years of experience, so we might put them in as average or good. Um, none of our boys are quite up to the excellent level. That's usually where they're a state qualifier, so that's a goal we have for them to reach in the next year or so. So we'll click beginning and add wrestler. Then up pops our next wrestler. So I'm going to quickly just go through here and put in Raiden's information. Again, if you're only registering one child, though, this would go a little bit quicker for you. For the time being, since I'm not actually going to complete it, I'll just put him in as beginner. We haven't decided yet where Raiden would be going at this tournament. And next up would be Riker. He is in a fourth grade division. Again, click the tournament. He's third fourth. And uh, I'll just click him in as average for now. We'll add wrestler. Once you have them in, you can always go back and edit them by clicking that blue pencil. Or if they decide you don't want you decide you don't want your wrestler and you can click the red X. The registration fee is over here, so our boys would be a total of $60 to wrestle, which is a pretty common price. This red area reminds you that you're not done yet. You have to make sure you continue on by clicking continue. Once you're to this point, it's then your billing information. So I would go in and change this for our information and our address and all that. And once that's done, you go in to click on your payment. You can usually only use credit card. Once I click continue here, it would then have us to go, um, it would then put in my payment information and we'd be finished. I'm going to stop here though, since we aren't actually registering them for that training quite yet. So as you can see, it is pretty simple. Once you have already created an account, you find the tournament you want and you fill in your information. Okay, so I had this wrestling bag for five years that I've been in, and I always carry this with me to the wrestling tournament. And this is what I have in it. I have a banana and a protein bar, so I'm ready for the wrestling tournament. A water bottle, so I stay hydrated. My wrestling singlet for the wrestling match. My wrestling shoes for the mat when I wrestle. Okay, for your wrestling shoes, never wear them into the tournament or even into practice. Always keep them in your bag until you're ready to go out on the mat. They are not made for... Um, they're not made for the street, they're made for the wrestling mat. So that is a one thing that you need to know about that. And then I have my headgear. You put it on so you don't get cauliflower ear. And then... Cauliflower ear is when your ear gets tugged on. A lot of times you'll see some wrestlers that haven't wore... Um, have not wore headgear while they've been wrestling through their careers and they kind of get kind of clumpy and that's what um, a nice set of headgear will protect you from.
Okay, so now for this one, we're going to explain a little bit. They're going to use Dexon as their little test guy. Okay, so he's all ready for in the morning. So you, you have all your stuff ready for the morning because usually you got to get to the wrestling tournament. Um, like tomorrow, we have to be there between 7.30 and 9 o'clock for weigh-in. Um, when you get to weigh-in, we'll explain a little bit while we're there on how it all works. But the, the things you want to have when you get to the tournament. Dexon's got a nice pair of comfy pants on, a nice comfy sweatshirt. He's got his singlet underneath. When you get to the weigh-in, what they're going to look for when when they're what they're going to look for is they're going to check his skin for any kind of um, ringworm or anything like that. So he'll have to strip down to his singlet. And they'll explain all that, and then his fingernails. That's huge at the thing. I've seen this multiple times. Your fingernails. Make sure they're trimmed down really nice. Um, they will check, and if they're not. Either most places will have a fingernail clippers you'll have to clip and then walk back through the line. They will not let your child wrestle with long fingernails. That'll cut another child. So them are uh, a few of the things for tonight before we uh, before the tournament. And we'll explain more tomorrow once we wake up and once we get going. In the all right, here we are at New London High School now, and it is 8 o'clock. We're going to walk in. I'm going to show a little bit about... Uh, what you do when you walk in and how to get all set up and ready for the tournament. When you get to the tournament, you're going to want to follow the weigh-in signs. They have the weigh-in to make sure that your child is within two pounds of what you registered in that. When you get to the weigh-in, this is where they will do a skin check, nail check, and they will check your weight to make sure you're ready to wrestle. Make sure you're wearing nothing but your singlet and your socks so that it speeds the process up. The two most important things at this tournament to look for were the mat number and the chart number. For instance, in this photo, Raiden's mat number was 2 and his chart number was 7. Once you find your mat number, the little pyramid at the top of the pole will tell you the chart number. When your chart number comes up, then you know that it's your child's turn to wrestle. Now you've reached the end of your child's first tournament. Once they finish their last match, head to the auditorium to get their medals and awards. Thanks for watching this how-to video on getting your child ready for their first wrestling tournament. Feel free to leave any questions you have in the comments section below. Thanks for watching everybody. And stay tuned for more Arns Boys Outdoors.